Hi, and welcome back. Today we have our Nano VNA, and we are going to test our coax cable. A couple videos ago, I said I wasn't sure if the coax, my 100-foot run to my SolarCon A99, I had mentioned that the cheaper cable seemed to have a lower SWR. So today we're going to test the coax. All right. So we have our Nano VNA set to log mag, which if you look at the top, you can see there. And first thing we're gonna do is to calibrate it. So we go to calibrate. And first thing we're gonna do is calibrate the open. So we find the correct little slug here. Here's the open one. And we click on open. And then we go to short. And click on short. And then next we put the load one, which is the, the one that has the raised end on the slug, so we can put a load on it. And we tap load. And then the last one we're gonna do is through. All right, now to calibrate the through one, we're gonna hook up the two cables that came with the Nano VNA. And I have them connected together with the little connector that came with it. And then we just click on through. And done. And if we go to our display, you can see with it calibrated, we're at zero dB. So we have this calibrated. All right, so let's start with the short piece of coax and we'll go ahead and test it. So you um, disconnect both ends of the cable here. And I happen to have two adapters here that I can hook up and we can test our coax. So if we go ahead and hook those up and I have just a little three piece patch cable here and if we go ahead and hook it up okay Let's see I'm having a hard time here okay we'll hook it up to both ends of the coax And let's see if we're having any issues with this little piece of coax. All right, so if we go ahead and read our Nano VNA, you can see that we have a 0.27 dB loss. And as you can see, the trace is nice and flat, which we want to see. So that piece of coax is good. All right, right here I have a 50 foot long uh, length of coax, and this is the original coax I had hooked up to the SolarCon A99 antenna, which gave me the lower SWR. So let's go ahead and hook it up to our Nano VNA, and I'm pretty sure this uh, coax is going to test fine. All right, we have the 50 foot coax hooked up. 
and it's kind of hard to see here, but we have a minus 3.51 dB loss, and the line's nice and flat, which is good. So this coax is good. Now over here, I have 100 feet of RG8X coax that I bought on Amazon. And it was a return item. I got this pretty cheap. But I never could get a good SWR with this cable. So um, I know it's bad and I waited too long to return it. And we have someone at the door here. So uh, let's go ahead and hook this up to the Nano VNA and um, see what we get. All right, this is interesting. We are getting um, the antenna. The trace line is basically flat, and we're having a loss of 7.54 dBs. Uh, what's interesting is I've had this cable hooked up a couple times before on the Nano VNA, and um, I had horrible readings, and I didn't get a flat line. So I, I think there's a short somewhere in the cable and depending how it's flexed um, is what's making it get a good reading right now. I used to have it hooked up to my Tram 1499 antenna here and if you remember some of my early videos my SWR was all over the place and that's where I used the 100 foot coax. So I, I'm thinking there's a short somewhere in the coax that isn't always there. So I'm not sure quite what it could be. It could be moisture in it. I'm, I'm not really sure. But um, I don't use that coax anymore. Now to test the 100-foot coax from the antenna, we're going to have to disconnect it from the antenna over here so we can connect it to the nano vna so we're going to disconnect from the antenna and disconnect from the radio here and have to find a point outside where we can connect both ends of the antenna to the nano vna so i'll see you outside all right we're outside here we have our friend again and if we look at the meter, at the VNA, we can see we have a dB loss of minus 3.52, and that's running 100 feet of cable, and it's a nice, um, pretty flat line. So this cable's good, or coax is good. What's also kind of nice here, as you can see, this has been up for quite a few months on the A99 antenna, and the connection looks great. Nice and dry, no corrosion or rust whatsoever. Okay, what I actually find interesting is the 100-foot cable, the old cable that I bought on Amazon Return. It had a loss of... I think it was seven and a half dBs compared to the 100 foot run I have currently with a good quality, it's a good quality cable and we're only getting a loss of minus 3.5 dB. So this cable um, has twice the loss, the old cable here has twice the loss as the good cable I currently have hooked up. Now my next, uh, my next step, if I really want to be thorough, would be to go and test all these three foot cables that I have hooked up to my various um, devices and check them out to make sure that um, they're good. But I'm pretty confident they're good and I um, don't want to bore you with uh, testing, I think it's probably, yeah, six more cables. And I know this radio runs well, and um, I've never had issues with those before, so I'm not going to test those. But like I said, if I really wanted to be thorough, I would go and test those all. All right, so there you have it. Another cool thing that you can do with the Nano VNA. 
and I'll probably make a couple future videos with um, other things you can test with this. But um, interesting results today. Um, I'm pleased to see that my 100 foot run of coax is good. I don't need to worry about that. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.